The Florida Department of Transportation presents this informational video about modern roundabouts for pedestrians, bicyclists, and motorists. What is a roundabout? A roundabout is a one-way, circular intersection without traffic signals in which traffic flows counterclockwise around a center island. The roundabout uses signs to guide motorists and has safe crossings for pedestrians and bicyclists. In Florida, about 45% of all traffic fatalities and serious injuries occur at intersections with stop signs and traffic signals. Statistics show roundabouts reduce the number of fatalities by up to 90% and result in a 76% reduction in injury crashes. Conventional intersections have 32 conflict points, while roundabouts cut that number by 75% to 8 conflict points. Because there are no crossing movements in a roundabout, left turn and right angle crashes are eliminated. Further, roundabouts have up to 40% fewer incidents with pedestrians and bicyclists. Conventional intersections have 16 pedestrian conflict points, while roundabouts cut that number in half with only 8 pedestrian conflict points. In general, vehicle speeds are under 25 miles per hour in a roundabout. This traffic calming effect gives motorists more time to judge and react to pedestrians and bicyclists, which is advantageous to older and novice motorists. Here are some user tips for pedestrians when accessing a roundabout. Stay on the walkways and cross at designated crosswalks. Do not enter the center island. And watch for motorists and bicyclists. If bicycle lanes are present on a roadway, they will end at the approach to a roundabout. At that point, a bicyclist has two options. Option one is to merge into the travel lane and circulate the roundabout as a vehicle, obeying all the rules for motorists. Option two is to use the sidewalk. Bicyclists should yield the right-of-way to pedestrians and walk your bicycle at crosswalks. Motorists approaching the roundabout must yield before entering as traffic already in the roundabout has the right-of-way. Motorists in the roundabout continue to move. Do not stop within the roundabout. If you miss your exit, don't panic. Just continue on your path until you come around to your exit again. When encountering bicyclists, motorists should yield to bicyclists and allow them to merge into the entry lane before the bike lane ends and watch for pedestrians crossing the entry and exit roadways to and from the roundabout, and yield the right-of-way. As we transition from a roundabout on a local road in a residential area to a roundabout on a state road in a commercial area, we see a different size roundabout with different speeds and different users. This recently constructed roundabout is located at State Road 17 and Hunt Brothers Road in East Polk County. It is used by a large number of 18-wheel tractor trailers. The roundabout is designed to accommodate all the turning movements of a tractor trailer. The roundabout includes a 14-foot apron, which allows the back wheels of an 18-wheeler to travel across the apron as necessary. The truck apron is raised three inches higher than the vehicle lane and is differentiated by red-colored concrete. These features make it clear that the truck apron is not something to be driven over by smaller vehicles. Ellis Hunt, president of Hunt Brothers Incorporated, a member of Florida's Natural Growers, is a big fan of this roundabout. I'd like to compliment DOT on a an excellent project. This roundabout has turned out better than I could have imagined. They were uh, very open and willing to work with the public. They took public comments a year ahead of time and incorporated some of those designs to actually make this roundabout 
bigger when they realize the number of 18-wheeler trucks that come through here. And we pack fresh citrus and, and it all leaves our packing house uh, on 18-wheelers. So we have 3,000 18-wheelers came in last year and then they leave, so that's 6,000 trips through this intersection. People were questioning how well this would work. Well, I'm here to tell you it works extremely well. The traffic's flowing well. They're not backed up behind 18-wheelers waiting for a, enough clear space to get through. I would encourage any community uh, to embrace this and uh, work with DOT and they'll see the benefits that we have seen here. So from a safety standpoint, traffic flow standpoint, this has been a complete success in my opinion. The Florida Department of Transportation hopes this informational video has enlightened you about roundabouts. Following these tips will help ensure that pedestrians, bicyclists, and motorists together can safely use roundabouts in Florida.